Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Chicago at the Morning Star ETF Invest Conference. And I'm here with Dr. James Breach, who's the CEO and President of Cooter Global Investments. Now, Dr. Breach, first, thanks for being with us. Appreciate Thank you very it. much for having me. Your firm is one of those unique ETF strategists or ETF asset managers that bring packaged portfolios of ETFs to advisors. Talk a little bit about uh, how an advisor would utilize your strategy, who may be a you know asset allocation portfolio manager, but wants a little bit more protection. Well, we uh, I designed the platform to be specifically to be used by advisors, and we are global macro tactical advisors, meaning that we will shift. So most advisors are more comfortable in, in some kind of strategic asset mix for their clients. That's historically been the way our industry has evolved. However, and even in our most conservative portfolios, we will be completely in equities, and even in our most aggressive mandates, we will be completely out of equities, depending on the environment. The problem is in a strategic mix, you might have been down 28% in 2008, and it takes years to recover, whereas we were out of the markets in 2008 because we could get, even with our most aggressive mandates, we could get out of the markets. And as we all know, there's a bond bear market ahead right. of us. It's going to be very serious pain for those 60-40 investors who are yeah. in fixed income, and, and we will be completely out. We can manage uh, our most conservative mandates even though we won't have any fixed income in it. So do you have a, is it a tactical strategy? Yes, it's yeah. tactical. We have a one-month outlook on the U.S. economy as the world's largest economy and the most important economy for understanding capital market behavior. We move it forward each month and we do a scenario analysis uh, for the probabilities of uh, growth, stagnation, inflation, recession, or chaos, which are black swans, okay. which we've been modeling for 20 years. That's a scary word. Yeah, black swans. Uh, Nassim Taleb was actually at Wharton when I was, but he's gotten a lot more rich and famous from coining the word. We actually use the word chaos. So with advisors, risk is very important. Yes. With their clients especially, risk is important. So. Basically, if you are an advisor, you're utilizing ETFs and portfolios, many of uh, the strategies like you folks offer are available on most platforms. How would somebody go about connecting with you or actually finding out if your portfolios are available on the, on the custody platform that they use? Well, we've just entered into a distribution agreement with an American Independence Group here in the U.S. Uh, we're based in Toronto. Uh, so they are going to uh, have people on the ground here who can answer most of those questions. We also have a Toronto office where it can be answered. I wanted to answer your other question, which I didn't answer fully. Uh, we have, uh, most advisors have a kind of strategic mix for their clients, and because our most conservative uh, mandates, they, an advisor would determine with the client which mandate is most appropriate for them, yeah. where they only have a 5% chance of going negative or, at the aggressive end, 20% chance of going negative. So whatever mandate they couple with their core portfolio, you can be sure that it will tilt that overall mix of the client depending on the outlook for the economy and for the markets. So by adding one of your portfolios into the client portfolio, it's going to smooth out the bumps a little yes, bit, exactly. right? Yes, exactly. Pain's not going to be as bad. That's right. But on the upside, when the market's storm, and you may not make as much either, right? That's right. Our view is to avoid bear markets and participate in bull markets, but that doesn't mean that we'll capture all of the bull markets. Sometimes we do, but sometimes we don't. Yeah. However, as downside risk managers, what we've discovered is all we, all, although we only manage downside volatility, a corollary of that is that we actually have lower standard deviation than portfolios that manage risk as total volatility. Got it. Dr. Breach, thank you for your time today. Thank really you very much, Tom. It. Thank you.